Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mockingbird Hate Bear deck in timeless format. So initially I was trying to build Death and Taxes. I did have some White Orchid Phantoms in there, but the fact that we don't really have Leon and Arbiter in timeless format, the White Orchid Phantom is kind of mediocre. So after playing some games, I've actually switched the White Orchid Phantoms out for some Sun Cleansers, which is a great hate bear at the moment, since 90% of your games are going to be versus energy deck at the moment. Now, what's really cool about this deck is we have a lot of non-legendary ETB creatures, such as the Stoneforge Mystic, White Orchid Phantoms, Skyclave Apparitions, and some copies of Solitude as well. But last but not least, we are playing four copies of Ranger Captive Vios, which is actually going to grab a new card from the newest set Bloom Borrow called the Mockingbird. And this card is actually pretty nuts. So this is a 1 mana 1 1 flying with X cost in it. You can basically pay the X cost equivalent to whatever you want to copy on the board. It has to be a creature though and you can copy that creature paying the X cost and then it's going to come into the battlefield as that creature. So it's also going to trigger the enter the battle effect as well. So for example if you play the Ranger Captain Bios to grab the Mockingbird, you could technically Mockingbird copy the Ranger Captain Bios again and grab another Mockingbird in the process. But what's also really nice about this card is that it can even copy opponent's creatures as well. So you can even copy something like opponent's Flage, for example, and that'll deal three damage onto the board. But unfortunately, I do think it's actually going to sacrifice itself. But if you need that three damage, that's something you can do. And you can even copy something like Amped Raptor as well. So obviously this card has a lot of applications that could come in handy. So I'm kind of excited to try this deck out. So I'm excited that I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Special 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. All right, let's try this. Okay, um, looks like a Blood Moon Angle. I might just kind of bait it out. Like, if they play nothing but a Blood Moon here, I'd be glad. Obviously, they, they didn't have a Blood Moon. I'm, I'm going to play these last because... It, it tricks my opponent, basically. Maybe um, playing out the Blood Moon is actually really nice versus me right now. Blood Moon me. Oh. Okay. I could White Orchid Phantom, but it's kind of useless, I feel like. Actually, maybe do this and then attack. This is not going to be able to do anything. Oh boy. Okay, let's go uh, Stoneforge Mystic. And yeah, maybe I should have just played the Stoneforge Mystic last turn. Probably. Probably just, let's get a Sword of Fire and Ice and pass the turn. What happens if I copy the Boo from the Minsk? I wonder. Okay. 
classic rule. This is one of the reasons why I hate Utopia Sprawl. Because drawing into them is just so bad. There's that blood moon. I mean, seems like it's just over, right? That is a flying giant killer. Yep. <laughs> Classic. Excuse me? Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyro. Check out these fireworks. That was unexpected. Okay. We're playing against the land destruction deck with the main deck four copies of Stone Rain. Plus a Blood Moon. And they have a Brotherhood Zen. I don't know how many copies they play. Probably multiple copies of it. And a Chandra as well. Um, let's put some Boromirs in. And let's also put two copies of Flare of Fortitude. Archon is probably not that good, I want to say. They play a lot of basic lands. Not sure about the Giant Killers either. Yeah, I'm going to cut. Archons. I'm gonna cut a cryptic code. Okay, get down white land as soon as possible. Maybe I could have also cut some white orchid phantoms as well. It's not like this card is like that great versus them. I don't know how good this card is actually. Besides the fact that besides the fact that it's flying and has first strike. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. So annoying. The ultimate cheese deck. Stone Rain and Blood Moon. The Giga Cheese deck. Yep. My opponent had it again. Another like stone rain into a blood moon. Which is a bit of a shame. Maybe I should just go to the next game. I'm probably wasting my time. If I don't see a land next turn, I'll just go to the next game. Okay, so next game, we mulligan all the lands possible. I mean, 
I guess I gotta keep it. I could White Orchid Phantom myself. I can't believe my opponent has the same exact start. Again. How do they do that? How do they do that? So I'm doing this because if they have a stone rain into Blood Moon yet again, right? It seems like they have like a Bone Crusher Giant or something here. I might just go Felia. All in on one land, huh? All in on one land. I'm sure opponent has like some sort of a board wipe. But they decided to use Lightning Bolt. Play that out. I smell a board wipe. Okay. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Interesting. I mean, of course I want to grab a Mockingbird for next turn, but I guess they can't really minus three with Chandra anyways. Yeah, weird. Is it just me or is it getting a little warm in here? Also, I would have loved if the if it actually left up a planes here. Ah, uh, might actually lose to Chandra now. Oh, never mind. I forgot that Blood Moon uh, Brother Hosen did that. Um, I mean, I'm not in a good spot still, right? Yeah, I'm not in a good spot still. I'm doing this if they top deck another Chandra or something. Now I hope they top like a Blood Moon or unlicensed hers. We might actually win. So many removal spells, like look. I'll keep the Giver Bruins around so I can go Solitude plus Swords here. <laughs> like I said. Can't cheese that one. I would really need to draw another white source. Uh, 
I mean, but it's so good otherwise. This one pesky island, huh? One pesky island. So unfortunate. Here they go! Guide of Souls? Huh. Unfortunately, I have to kill that instead of the Guide of Souls, otherwise it's going to create a... a token. Nice. Super nice. That is actually so nice. Arena of Glory. It's not perfect, but we have peace. It's not like too crazy, but I mean, it's still. still Decent, you know? Seems like they do have like um, a removal spell though. So, now I have a choice. I, I could go Ranger here. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. Grab a Mockingbird. I wonder, like, what happens if you copy um, a Johnny? A land would be nice. We actually got it. Let's try this. If they want to get rid of uh, their own God of Souls, fine by me. How come it lets you select the Ajani? Isn't that weird? Oh, they get rid of that instead. That's a bit surprising. I thought they were going to get rid of a Guide of Souls for sure. Okay. Good draw. They spend it immediately. No hesitations. Let's do that again, shall we? Currently, they don't have energy. I should probably just do this, right? I was gonna say, like, they don't have an energy, but there it is.
Well, that's a situation. What a top deck there. I guess I would need to like like what what do I need? I guess I need to hit the amped raptor and then find something insane. Ah. GG's. Okay. I don't think this is a matchup that we should lose, honestly. Considering that we have uh, three Skyclaves, three Solitudes, four Swords. Yeah, I don't think this is a matchup that we should really lose. Oh yeah, four Sun Cleansers as well. So uh, let's not die this time like, uh, like last game. Archon is very good against their deck. It stops Raptors. Sun Cleanser just stops everything. Yeah, White Orchid Phantom. Again, not very good. We'll go down on Cryptic Coat. Should I Mulligan for Sun Cleanser? This hand isn't good anyways. It has zero removal spells. Okay, this one's acceptable. Mm-hmm. A Johnny. Yep. Nice, a land was actually really good. I think I'm just gonna go Ranger here. Grab a Mockingbird. Unstable Amulet. We really need to draw our hate cards, our cyborg cards, pretty fast. Not like this. Yeah, the best cards to draw right now are Sun Cleanser, Stoneforge Mystics, Archon. I, I guess I, I don't want Archon now that they're gonna play uh, their Anthraptor here. Wait, is this only from hand? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Another witch's enchanter.
mocking uh, Ranger Captain Bios by itself generates a whole army. Which is cool. Wow. They bottomed a Guide of Souls. That's crazy. Six mana. Maybe I should just sacrifice one of the Ranger Captain Bios. Uh, probably not. Most of their cars are creature based, so. Okay, good thing opponent didn't even see my Sun Cleanser there, which is kind of crazy. Oh yeah, let's play another Archon and two copies of hers. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to put Unlicensed hers. Just because this deck plays, look, four Swords, three Skyclave, three Solitudes, and Assimilation Aegis. Like, do we re are we really scared of a Flage coming down? Probably not. I'm gonna go down to Stoneforge because we actually cut a copy of uh, an equipment. Ooh, ho ho. Ooh, hopefully it's not too late going second and all. I mean, I do have Solitude, so. Static Prison. I think I'd rather want these. Okay, we got our Giver Runes back. Good thing we have another one. Yeah, good thing we have another one. This doesn't work, right? Does it work? Oh, it still gets counter. Is it only the player? I guess it is. Another Solitude. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot of Sun Cleansers. That is a lot of Sun Cleansers. Yeah, their Amthraptor is just completely dead. And we can also answer the Ajani with the Skyclave Apparition. Should I answer the Ajani now? I actually don't... I mean, what's Ajani gonna do? It's gonna create... I guess they, they can keep attacking with the Cat Warrior. Assimilation Aegis or Sword? Probably Swords, right?
Really need a land? Nice. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now we can go Skyclip Apparition on the Ajani, and they lost two cards. A dark plot ties things together into the fray. And we also got a sword, so pretty good. What is this stop? They do not respect me. Really? I guess I just want to check out my last card. Maybe. The problem with um, playing out my swords here. Is that if they have a um, lodge, it's actually pretty bad. So I'm gonna chump block it just this turn. Since I'm gonna set up a Swords of Fire and Ice next turn, anyways. I just wanna probe what this is. Okay, we got another Swords, anyways. I just wanted to set up a sword so that I can block the Giganta freely. I mean, not not this sword, uh, this sword of fire and ice. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna start attacking with the Sun Cleanser. Just a free attack every single turn, so... And the fact that they have to chump block every single time. Just so good. I mean, I attack and I, I can reattach, I guess. Oh. Okay. That's what they had. Bunch of surgicals. Oh, we got a mockingbird. Look at this. Oh my god. Now we don't even have to worry about Blage coming down. What a beautiful day, brother. Like I said, this deck should be really good against um energy deck. This hand is okay if it's like an Omnitel. Utopia Sprawl. 
It does seem like it's an Omnitel. I should have attacked. Missed an attack there. Light of hand. Into a demonic tutor. Could be a thought seize. My God. The amount of lands that I'm drawing is insane. It does seem like it's an Omnitel, right? Mockingbird? I mean, do I have a choice? One with the multiverse. I'm guessing they played this and Omniscience together. To raise the consistency. Okay. Gotta draw something really quick though. That's a good one. Two, four, five, six. If I attack six damage. I think I'm just gonna attack all. Black. Nice. Okay, so Lavinia, Archon, Boromir, get this out, and a Surgical Extract. I think White Orchid Phantom isn't very good. Swords is okay. Swords is okay. I'll leave like two copies. Maybe I don't even want swords. There's just so many ways of killing the Atroxa, even if it comes down. I hope I cut my Skyclip Apparition. Ooh. I'm gonna keep it. Assemble. So the card that we actually need to find is... Not Lavinia, it's um... The bird. We need the bird. Don't think we need that.
The problem with this hand, even though we have a lot of hate cards, is that it's too slow. Right? It's too slow. Okay. It's once each turn, right? I think we got this. Let's get another Mockingbird. In case they have a veil of summer. Uh, deal six damage here. If they somehow play an Atroxa, we can Giant Killer. Attack, attack. I could have also just used the Giver Bruins. GG's. Alright, so... Um, I have undergone some changes during the games. But in the intro, you're going to see the deck list that you see here. And I'll just quickly touch upon some of the changes that I made after the first three games. So, I've actually went down on White Orchid Phantom. And I have gone up on two copies of Sun Cleanser. Just because there's just way too many energy decks at the moment. Like especially game one, if you can win out a game. Going into game two and three. Because you drew like Sun Cleanser and they don't really have any other removal spells. Other than maybe something like a Bolt. Since they're not going to be main decking Source of Plowshare, right? So like if you can steal one game in game one. And in going into game two and three. You are just so favored because we have swords, we have four copies of Sun Cleansers, you also got three copies of Skyclave Apparition, we have three copies of Solitude, and Stoneforge Mystic can also grab an Assimilation Aegis as well. So, Game 2 and 3 should be Walk in the Park for this deck against an energy deck. Mardu might be a little bit difficult. So that's when you bring some copies of like Graftigger's Cage or Unlicensed Hers. 
I don't think against um, Flage or Flage, you don't want to bring any unlicensed first, just because we have so many exile spells. Look, Swords, Aegis, Solitude, Skyclip Apparition. So I kind of feel like you don't want to really go into game 2 and 3 bringing in unlicensed hers, which is only good against Flodge or Flage. At the start, we had 4 copies of White Orchid Phantom instead of this 2 copies of Sun Cleanser here. The reason for this is, even if the White Orchid Phantom comes down, it's not like we have Leonin Arbiter in Timeless Format to abuse the White Orchid Phantom. Nor does this deck play any ephemerates as well. So even though this is, I think it's a good card, but just because there's just way too many Boros energy at the moment, it's not like getting rid of um, uh, destroying a land and like they're going to have a bund like at least three or four copies of basic if they're playing Boros. I guess against the Mardu energy, it would be actually really good. But I think Boros energy is more popular, but... Yeah, uh, Ranger Captain Abios was kind of sick, picking up Mockingbird. We have actually copied a bunch of um, opponent's creatures as well. So getting that extra options with the Mockingbird is actually pretty sick. But against like something like Omnitel from the last game, the fact that we can like Ranger Captain Abios, and if they show and tell, let's say like after sideboarding, you put a Boromir down, they can't do anything. And then your turn comes back, Play the Mockingbird, copy the Ranger Captain of Eos, crack the Ranger Captain of Eos, so yeah, so it's actually pretty sick. Um, even though it's, you know, I, I call it Death and Taxes, it's not really Death and Taxes, to be fair. We're not really taxing our opponent here. Like, what are we taxing, right? I guess the only tax cars here are, like, Ranger Captain of Eos and Archon of Emuria. It's more like a hate bear, I guess, so... So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.